Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulf Street Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. It's Sunday, and you know where we are? We're in beautiful Ten Palms by the buffet line. This is a great place to come for the Sunday buffet. Want to remind everybody, on Belmont Day, June 7th, you come right here to the Ten Palms, and for $49.99, you get a seat and watch the Belmont Stakes and a chance for California Chrome to win the Triple Crown. Now let's get right to Sunday's track and weather conditions. The main track fast, turf course firm, our first race, four and a half furlongs. This is for a maiden Philly two-year-old. One scratch in here, number five, Winding Bay. Racing at Gulfstream. Toward the inside, Grunya begins nicely and moves out to take the lead with Awesome Ice moving to challenge and Coco's Wildcat on the outside. Awesome Ice and Coco's Wildcat in lockstep and they speed away. They're better than three lengths in front of Jamie's Dancer who races in third. Grunya comes away in fourth, two and a half better than Queen's Ready and the trailer early is Rex's Comprise. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn, the sharp speed of Coco's Dancer in front by a length and a half. Awesome Ice is there second, three lengths back to Jamie's Dancer who starts to get on track in front of Grunya, then Queen's Ready and Rex is comprised his last. They run past the quarter pole. There's less than a quarter of a mile to go now. The leader is Coco's Wildcat, three parts of length. Jamie's Dancer in the pink colors and awesome ice between horses. Grunya's out wide. Off top of the lane now, Coco's Wildcat trying to seal the deal. Awesome ice between horses down the outside. Late run from Grunya. Coco's Wildcat holding command. Late run from Awesome Ice. Coco's Wildcat will get there. Coco's Wildcat debuts a winner by two and a half lengths. Awesome ice was second. It's close for third between Jamie's Dancer and Grunya in 52 seconds seconds flat. Number seven, Coco's Wildcat draws off to win the opener, owned by Gilbert Campbell, trained by Kathleen O'Connell, ridden to victory today by Eduardo Nunez. We're going to the turf for our second race. It's one mile and one sixteen. Claiming the event, Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds and up, which have never won three races. Scratch the eight, scratch the 14, scratch number 15, the jockey on the 13, Jilver Chamafi. And they're up. Bend is silver was checked back at the start. From the outside, Nice to Regal and Party Till Dawn both break alertly. Down toward the inside, it's Miss Pow Wow with hankering at the rail. Then it's a length back to White Lion with Angel's Girl on the outside as they sort themselves out and run into the first turn. It's Party Till Dawn from an outside post under Kevin Krieger leads it by a length now from Nice to Regal in second. Hankering is third. Miss Pow was fourth. Angel's Girl now races in fifth, a length better than White Lion who's on the outside. Inside of her is She's the Cat. Then it's a length and a half back to Zen and Girl, a length and a half better than Smoke and Alley with foundation to her outside. It's three and a half to Bahia de Oro and trailing the field is Ben de Silver. They bend into the backstretch after the opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. Even money the price, party till dawn the leader. Party till dawn, three parts of a length from the outside. Nice to Regal is there second. Racing up on the inside is Hankering. To Hankering's outside is Angel's Girl. Trying to find clear passages, she's the cat with Zenon Girl moving out wide. Also in between horses and moving closer is White Lion. A length better than Foundation with Smoke and Alley. Three lengths to Ben de Silver and Bahia de Oro is last. Miss Pow Wow is in that second flight as they run around the far turn. Nice to Regal tries to take it to the favorite who's inside and still in front. Party till dawn by ahead. Nice to Regal on the outside. These two begin to separate. They're two and a half lengths better than Angel's Girl and Hankering. Moving up on the outside, Zen and Girl is now into fourth and they're at the top of the stretch. Well rationed up top by Kevin Krieger, the favorite party till dawn still aids. To the attack, Nice to Regal is second, Angel's Girl is third, down the outside and Zen and Girl, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Party till dawn, in front a length and a half, Angel's Girl begins to make up ground at Nice to Regal for second, down the outside, Ben to Silver. It's still the favorite in front and it will be party till dawn, coast to coast. To win it by almost two from Nice to Regal second, Bahia de Oro came from absolutely nowhere to get third. Close for fourth between Angel's Girl and Ben de Silver in 143 and one. Number 11, Party Till Dawn takes some wire to wire and wins it for owner Frank Call Calabrese, trained by Rashawn Creaky and ridden to victory today by Kevin Krigger. We will take a break and be back for the third race in just a few moments. This is a moment of 
history. Treat yourself like royalty when wagering on the sport of kings with ExpressBet. ExpressBet is the legal, fast, and secure way to bet on over 300 tracks around the world. No other website offers you greater value with 100% free wagering, past performances, video replays, and daily picks. Sign up today to receive a bonus and start earning points with XP rewards. Earn even more when you refer your friends. It's the most rewarding experience in racing. Express Bet, your way to play. General Aron spot on the outside in Constitution. Cairo Prince is fifth right now, and he's four lengths off the lead. Then Matador, who's down at the rail with four and a half to make up. Constitution has won! Adina Retirement in Aurora, Ontario, believes every horse deserves a safe and loving environment. This unique program ensures retired horses are provided a suitable, healthy, and loving home for life after their racing careers are over, and has adopted out more than 400 horses in Canada, has pioneered thoroughbred horse shows, and has been a leader in developing retirement programs throughout North America. The Stronach family is committed to the sport of thoroughbred racing and the grace, spirit, and generosity of the horse. Welcome back, our third race of the afternoon, a four and a half furlong sprint, and it's for maiden two-year-olds. We'll have six runners going to post with no scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're off. Toward the insides, Fedek begins the best with his stablemate Bagration moving to challenge. In between horses, Smoltz comes away in the top flight. These three are quickest. They're followed by Jack's Comprise and BF Forever. And on the inside, the trailer is Phil's Comprise. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Dorachenko 1 2 with Bagration in front to half a length. Spedek is there second. Smoltz on the outside is now third. Jack's Comprise is running up on heels in a pocket fourth. Length and a half to BF Forever in fifth. And far back, the trailer is Phil's Comprise. They run to the top. Top of the stretch. Bagration held together nicely up top. Three wide is Smoltz trying to pounce on the leader and in between horses Fedek. Jack's comprise on the inside. BF Forever has to do better and they turn home. It's Janati Dorachenko with Bagration the one to beat. Off the top of the turn with a five length lead. Stablemate Svedek trying to hold on to second. Smoltz on the outside. BF Forever late but they're coming to the wire. Nice debut winner for Bagration. Bagration and Antiaco Merja win by five. Svedek was second. It's close for third between Smoltz and Jack's comprise in 52 and 2. And uh, number one, Bagration. What a nice performance. Just draws off to win it for Walt LLC. Trained by Gennady Dorichenko and ridden to victory today by Antokio Mergia. The fourth race is a five furlong sprint on the firm turf course. It's an allowance optional claimer for three year olds and upward. Scratch number two, Miss Mosh. Also scratch the number five, Kent. Stop the kid. And they're off. Trev begins excellent and goes looking for the lead with Hold On Smoking moving to challenge and Determinado from down toward the inside. Also mixing it up is Texas Rustler and Determinado had to get out of there, shuffled himself back to last as they run down the back stretch. Hold On Smokey and Jose Lopez put ahead in front of Trev in second. Full Moon's back is three wide while third Texas Rustler is now fourth. Cajun Breeze is fifth and sixth and last is Determinado. They run around the far turn. Hold On Smokey trying to do just that for Full Moon's back on his outside. In between horses is Trev and moving from the back Cajun Breeze. Saving ground is Texas Rustler. Texas Rustler might have room too as they run to the top of the stretch. And here's Texas the Rustler down inside. Hold on, Smokey left the fence open down the outside. Full Moon's back, widest of all Cajun Breeze. Cajun Breeze going best of all with an eighth of a mile to go. In between horses, Full Moon's back and on the inside, it's Texas Rustler. 16th pole, Cajun Breeze driving to the lead and Cajun Breeze springs the upset and wins by two. Upper second, Full Moon's back from Texas Rustler. Third, it's close for fourth. Number eight, Cajun Breeze blows in late to win it for Shady Brook Farm Incorporated and Robert Eversole, trained by Michael Yates, ridden to victory today by Juan Leva. We'll take a break. Be back for the fifth in just a moment or two. Howden Bay in front as they hit the last 16th of a mile. 15 to one shot, Howden Bay got it done. What a horse race here as they come to the last 16th of a mile. Lexi Lou unwavering on the lead. Lexi Lou to win the South Ocean. Howden Bay will finish second. Sligo Bay. 
Canada's leading sire of two-year-olds and number two on the Canadian general sire list in 2013, standing at Adina Springs. OBS is the leading two-year-old source to the world. The OBS June sale has produced such prominent runners as 2013 Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile winner Golden Sense and 2014 Fountain of Youth Stakes winner Wildcat Red. Nearly 1,200 quality racing prospects will be offered at the OBS June sale of two-year-olds at Horses of Racing Age, June 17th through 20th. OBS, we measure success by performance. Come to Gulfstream Park and play the Rainbow Six. Just 20 cents gives you a chance at an estimated jackpot of over $10 million with a mandatory payout on Monday, May 26th. Welcome back for the fifth race. Five and a half furlongs claiming event for three-year-olds and upward, which have never won two races. The claiming tag, $12,500. Two late scratches, the number one Mile High City and number eight, Ewins Ring. And they're off. The favorite Caesar run missed the start is seven lengths last. From the center, Forge goes for the lead, but there goes Little Bart quickly up the challenge, and Little Bart takes the lead from Storm Haboob, who comes away now second. Forge is third, a length and a half better than Be a Wildcat from fourth. Then it's a stretch of five lengths back to its time for Lime, and it's four lengths to the trailer. The favorite, Caesar Run, who missed the start and is now over ten lengths behind and chasing the speed of Little Bart. Little Bart at the three furlong point, throttles open to lead the race by five from Storm Haboob in second. Forbes is trying to get going from third toward the inside. Be a Wildcat is fourth. On the outside, Caesar Run is now a joint last with its time for Lime. Past the quarter pole, and they're at the top of the stretch. Little Bart trying to seal the deal still has a three length lead toward the outside forge just trying to make ground and in between horses at storm haboob be a wildcat is on the inside there's an eighth of a mile to go little bart on the wrong lead but five lengths in front toward the outside forged in between horses is storm haboob but little bart is too quick it will be little bart for back-to-back -back wins and goes gate to wire by two and a half second with storm haboob in front of forged in third then be a wildcat in fourth in 105 and two it's number six, Little Bart, owned by Santerra Stable Incorporated, trained by Jose Garofalo, and ridden to victory today by Ramsey Zimmerman. The sixth race on the turf, one mile and one sixteenth, a claiming event, Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the six and seven, note the jockey on the two. Feet and sugar is Jilver Chamaki. And runners away. It was a poor beginning for Lady Dupree. It was a very quick beginning for Alguna, who sent out of there to try to get the early lead from Lady Joyful, who moves up out wide, alongside Congrats Honey and alongside Marie's Music with blending off their speed. They race into the first turn with Alguna in front by a head. Moving up on the outside is Marie's Music from second. Blending is now racing in third. She's a length better than Congrats Honey with Lady Joyful out wide. And now down toward the inside is Sign of Affection. Mimi Track is keen and on heels there. It's another five lengths back to the inside. Back in a minute. Back in a minute, it's a length in front of Fee and Sugar. And at the back, Lady Dupree after that bad start. They roll into the back stretch after a 23 and 3 opening quarter. They're chasing the speed of Marie's Music at 3 to 2 in front by four lengths. In second position is Alguna, a length better than Blending in third. And proving down inside is Sign of Affection from fourth. Then it's a length and a half back to. Uh, on the inside and trying to get closer is Mimi Track. Back in a minute is next with Congrats Honey and Lady Joyful. And then still at the back of the pack, Lady Dupree and Fee and Sugar. They run around the far turn. Marie's Music letting it all hang loose in front by three lengths. Blending now moves up on the outside of Alguna is into second. Sign of Affection works closer from fourth and here's Sign of Affection moving well. Was fourth, now third, contending for second and going after the favorite as they run to the top of the stretch. Marie's Music is all done. Here comes Blending between horses and on the outside, Sign of Affection. Affection. Two and a half lengths back to Alguna with Mimi Track and they're into the stretch. Way out in the center. Sign of Affection now takes the lead. Ducking in was blending and tries to kick with the leader second. Marie's Music is third. Lady Dupree is after recovering after a bad start to get a minor award. But Sign of Affection and Zimmerman power clear. Sign of Affection in front. Here's Lady Dupree on the outside getting up for second in front of blending in third. Marie's Music in a photo for fourth. 
with Alguna in 143-4. and four. And it's number one sign of affection closing down the center of the track to win it for Chevalier Stable, trained by Phil Gleaves and active jockey Ramsey Zimmerman, his second consecutive victory. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the late Daily Double. Gulfstream Park is one of Florida's top entertainment destinations. Mixing restaurants, clubs, a casino, and international boutique shops with world-class racing. In a lavish, sun-drenched setting with the feel of a Mediterranean village, Gulfstream is a leading year-round entertainment and tourist destination and the home of luxury residences in 2014. The Stronic family, owners of Gulfstream Park, is committed to the sport of thoroughbred racing and the grace, spirit, and generosity of the horse. Seventh race is a six furlong sprint on the fast main track under starter optional claiming conditions for Phillies three year olds. Scratch number one, you never learn. They're out the post. And they're off. A picture perfect beginning. Liberty Fuse in the center goes looking for the lead with Alexandra Storm away in second. My Novena driving down on the inside to try to challenge early on in third. And out wide is Cowgirl Spirit. In between horses Cajun Sunrise and the early trailer Sunset Silhouette. Down the back stretch they go, and with inside position, My Novena and Abdiel Hayan now put ahead in front. Liberty Fuse is right back at her on the outside. These two speed away, three lengths better than Alexandra Storm. Then Cowgirl Spirit, Sunset Silhouette is improving inside, and Cajun Sunrise is now last, and there's three furlongs left to go. Liberty Fuse leads by a neck. My Novena is second. Sunset Silhouette has made ground from last and is into third, continuing to gain ground. Two lengths better than Alexandra Storm, followed by Cowgirl Spirit and Cajun Sunrise, and they're at the top of the stretch. The leaders better look over their shoulder. Here comes the long shot, Sunset Silhouette. Up on the outside, now to collar the leaders. Sunset Silhouette doing slightly the better work of Liberty Fuse, who tries to hang tough, and so does My Novena down inside. Eighth of a mile to go, Sunset Silhouette wandering. Now down the outside, Cajun Sunrise is really finishing well now. Does she have enough time? Yes, she does. Cajun Sunrise in time. And one going away by almost two. My Novena was second, Sunset Silhouette third. It's close for fourth. Number six, Cajun Sunrise draws off to win it for owner William Churley, trained by Steve DeMauro, and that gives Jackie Juan Leva his second victory on the Sunday card. The eighth and final race, one mile and one sixteenth. The maiden Phillies and mares, three year olds and upward, scratch the one golden finish. The change of Chucky on number six, Annabelle Hall make the rider Carlos Olivero, and on number ten, the rider is Antokio Mergia. And runners away. Slow breaks for both Saint Charlotte and an amazing little lady. The first timers slow away. From the outside, Beauty Surprise wins the break and goes looking for the lead with Private Jet moving up the challenge from second. Away in third is Kalana with Annabella Hall in fourth as they race into the first turn. The sharp speed of Beauty Surprise and Edgar Zayas call the shots a length and a half in front of Private Jet in second. Ducking over from a high draw, Corinthian Luck is now down inside with Kalana on her outside. Wider than that is Annabella Hall. Then it's a length and a half to Russian Knight, followed by Charanga. Half length better to DJ's Foxy Lady. Then it's a length and a half back to Starship Sassy. She's about five or six lengths in front. Uh, first time starter, Amazing Little Lady. And St. Charlotte Ann, the other firsters, last of all. Opening quarter sharp, 23 and 2 down the back stretch they go. Beauty Surprise at 9 to 5 in front to half a length. Private Jet is there second. Racing in third is Kalana toward the inside. Corinthian Luck is now fourth. Russian Knight covers ground fifth. Annabella Hall between horses is sixth. DJ's Foxy Lady on the outside, seventh toward the inside, and now racing eighth is Charanga, followed by Starship Sassy in ninth. Amazing Little Lady is next, and St. Charlotte End is far back, and Beauty Surprise is up top and starting to move away. Beauty Surprise to the quarter pole, two lengths in front of Kalana, who takes up the slack second. 
Good. Back to third is Private Jet. Russian Knight covers ground and DJ's Foxy Lady. And now Beauty Surprise needs to do better. Here's Kalana on the outside. Beauty Surprise is throwing out the anchor. Starship Sassy swings ride for the drive and Kalana now takes the lead. It's Kalana in front with an eighth of a mile to go. Russian Knight and DJ's Foxy Lady to the attack. Starship Sassy is there. This is wide open. Kalana still there. In between horses, Russian Knight surging inside. Coming to the wire, Kalana, Russian Knight, Kalana! Kalana and Ramsey Zimmerman look to hold on. It's close, though, from Russian Knight inside and Starship Sassy on the outside in 141 and 4. Number five, Kalana wins the very close photo, and with that victory, someone brings down the Rainbow Six ticket. Number five, Kalana, owned by Harris Santa Maria de Arala, trained by Jose Garofalo, his second victory on the card, and that gives jockey Ramsey Zimmerman his third win. In the pick four, four of four paid $810.40. Pick five, only four of five, $163.35 to carry over $44,011. And here it is, the pick six, one ticket paid $6,678,939.12, all for 20 cent wages. And that wraps up Sunday's action. You know, Monday, Memorial Day, right here at Gulfstream Park. If the Rainbow Six isn't hit on Sunday, it's a mandatory payout day. Could be $15, $16 million in the pool. And once again, don't forget, on Belmont Day, come to 10 Palms, $49.99 to have a fantastic buffet and a chance to see California Chrome win the Triple Crown. Good night and good luck.